God, I miss Barack Obama. <laughs> That's why I was so excited. Yeah. Right. Come on. Number 44. Baby. That's why I was so excited to see him last night at the Duke, North Carolina basketball game. There he is, living his best life. Obama became part of the game's story when Duke forward and projected number one draft pick Zion Williamson's shoe exploded into pieces while he was wearing it. Williamson's okay, unlike Nike's stock price. <laughs> Turns out there is such a thing as bad publicity. But check out what Obama said the moment it happened. His shoe broke. <laughs> that nice. That's nice. <laughs> His shoe came up. Again, man. It's so refreshing <laughs> to see a president who can actually see a problem and identify it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He sees it and calls it out. You know Trump would have said, fake shoes. <laughs> of course. Obama's not everybody's cup of tea. Some people prefer Trump. For instance, a lot of local news stations are owned by a company called the Sinclair Broadcast Group, which has been accused of being pro-Trump, and no one more pro than their chief political analyst, former Trump special assistant and hitman realizing he dropped his gun in the toilet. <laughs> Boris Epstein. Earlier this week, Epstein appeared in a must-run video on 50 Sinclair news stations across 28 states with a President's Day message. President's Day is an important holiday for us to reflect upon those who we have elected to the highest office in our land. We are lucky to currently have a leader in President Trump whose term so far has been, I would argue, one of the most successful in our nation's history. If this keeps up, much to the chagrin of many Democrats, the president on Mount Rushmore may have to make room for a new addition. Okay, all right. I understand. I un <laughs> so what's going on over there? What's going on over there? I just... <laughs> yes, I know the feeling, John. I understand your reaction. It sounds crazy. But Trump on Rushmore might not be that far-fetched because, and I swear this is real, there's a section of the mountain that already kind of looks like him. <laughs> Jim? There you go. There you go. That's a more... That's a more healthy-looking version of him. But if pro-Trump reporting keeps the president happy and his aging skinhead fanboys calm, then we've prepared an even more pro-Trump message from our in-house broadcast team, Real News Tonight. Welcome to Real News Tonight. I'm Jim Anchorton. And I'm Jill Newslady. Our top story, our tremendous president. Recently, some have suggested that he be put on Mount Rushmore. Jill, what do you think of President Trump sharing a mountain with Washington and Lincoln? It's an insult, Jim. According to historians, their wives were fours at best. Uggos. And if anything, the Lincoln Memorial should be Abe, cradled like a baby by Papa Trump. And isn't it time to finally give up on the political correctness and label the Washington Monument Donald Trump's penis? Coming up next, is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez lying about being attractive? She's a witch. We got a great show for you tonight. 